I screwed up on getting the tail installed right away. I broke that tail wheel steering fork you know, I was drilling it out to put the bolts in it, so I kind of messed that up. The tail is all together except for that, but I'm going to wait to try to put the rudder on until after I get that fork all fitted up in there. It's easier to do with it on the bench than it is hanging from the airplane. So everything back that direction is pretty much done until I get that ready. Well, I guess it's time to move forward to the engine. One of the things I need to do before I mount the engine up is get these braces on that firewall for the engine cowling. So I'd bought metal for that, I bought strips of stainless steel for that, and I made up the brackets that go on, on the inside of the firewall, on the fuselage side of the firewall, that connect into the boot cowl, and I was going to make up the brackets that fit on the outside of the firewall that the engine cowling fits on. But I got to thinking that maybe the ones that were on the existing firewall, on the old firewall, might work on the on the new one. The patterns are the same, the bolt patterns the same, it's all standard, it all comes right off the blueprint. So I went over to the old boot cowl and looked at the firewall and sure enough these brackets were just screwed on there. They've got had nuts on the inside of the firewall and screws through them. Well I took those off and I put those uh, on the new firewall. Well I've got them off of there and I just washed them out with some solvent to get them the oil and crap off of them. I'm going to take them over to the shop and hit them with the wire wheel over there, clean them up a little bit and inspect them for any damage or anything. It looks like these holes might need to be deburred a little bit here. I've also got nut plates on three of them here, but they're the fixed type of nut plates. I may take those off and put floating nut plates on there. I got one bracket uh, one of these was cracked and was replaced and it doesn't have a nut plate on it. I may put a nut plate on that one too. Well, I took these brackets over to the shop and stuck them on the wire wheel, cleaned them up, and inspected them. These things are a little rougher than what I would have liked. I thought about making new ones, but then that's not really practical. There's nothing wrong with them. They're functional and they're still in good shape. There's no cracks or anything in them. So there's no real point into trying to make new ones just to serve vanity. I thought about putting new nut plates on them. These have got the fixed style nut plates on them. They've been on there for quite a while but they still work. But these floating nut plates are a little bit easier to, to use. They're easier to get the screws lined up into and stuff. But again they're functional so there's real no practical reason to do that. At one time, not long after I bought the airplane, they did find a cracked bracket on there during a, I don't know, 100 hour annual inspection or something. I just had the mechanic make a new one. That one has been functional, but I didn't really like it. It's okay, but this hole here where the cowling mounts to it is off from this one. This is the distance. This is the one that was on the airplane and you see the hole there is quite a bit different than the hole he's got in this one here and this uh, has been rubbing on that. That screw has been rubbing on that quite a bit and it's elongated that hole a little bit and there's also no nut plate on that one so I did go ahead and, and make a new one of those. Got that holes lined up a lot closer than what the other one was so that's my my homemade one compared to a mechanic's homemade one. Well anyway I'm going to go ahead and get those put on. That'll be one more step towards mounting up the engine. Well I guess we're just back to square one on these brackets, on these firewall brackets, the cowling brackets. I just tried to fit these up to put these on and they don't come anywhere close to fitting those holes in that firewall. I can get one screw in. These here, the top ones, I can almost get the second screw in two options. I could file those holes out or elongate those holes in the bottom ones or something and make them fit or I can make a new one but the bottom ones they don't come anywhere close to fit and those holes are quite a bit closer together on those bottom ones. I guess we're back to making new ones. I've made up my first bracket. Actually I've, I've bent it up and drilled the holes out for it. I just tried it out on the firewall and it looks like it's going to mount up just fine. A lot better than the other one. This is what the cowling mounts to here. I'm going to go ahead and drill that out and put a uh, nut plate on that. Well that'll be the first one if I don't screw that up. So I've got three more to do. The top ones are a little bit different than the bottom ones. They stick up proud of the boot cowl a little bit as the uh, engine cowling kind of goes, uh, the top engine cowling kind of goes, overlaps the boot cowl. That looks pretty good actually. 
my first bracket has been reproduced and installed it's finished mounts up there just perfect i think it actually looks better than the original one or the one that was on here which is not a piper part i don't think but now we'll go ahead and take the screws out of the left side there and measure those out they should be the same thing the bottom ones are a little bit different than the top ones these top ones protrude up a little bit above the boot cowl so they've got a kind of a double bend in them here the bottom ones just have a single bend and they're bent past 90 degrees the top ones are not I think they're bent past 90 degrees too but this first bend is not quite 90 degrees and then the second bend is whatever it takes to make that up well all four of those cowling brackets are made and installed they're all put on there pretty close copy to the ones that were on there before except for the distance between these screws right here so hopefully that'll work as well as the other ones did i suppose i could get the engine cowling down and try it out but it really won't make much difference until after i get the engine on there because the engine cowling rides on the belt baffling for the engine baffles i think i'm going to take some i've got some fireproof putty i think i'm going to take some fireproof putty and kind of work down in this seam here between this uh, firewall and that boot cowl then it's time i guess i'll move the fuselage back a little bit i have to clean out behind the tail move the fuselage back a little bit and get ready to mount the engine 